Good morning. I am uh, Dr. M. S. Ravindra from uh, Kartik Netralaya in Bangalore. We have Dr. Shilpa along with us, and today we are going to discuss on one of the most important topics that affects child's eyesight and affects his career in the future and affects the way the child is going to work or enjoy the uh, the world, which is built in a three-dimensional way, and uh, that's called amblyopia. Uh, Dr. Shilpa, uh, morning, what is amblyopia? Sir. Good morning. Good morning. So, amblyopia is a medical term used to uh, describe when the vision in one or both the eyes is decreased due to an abnormal development of vision stimulation between the brain and the eye. Very good. So, the amblyopic eye will still see blurry. The brain will sti still see blurry from the amblyopic eye despite wearing glasses or giving appropriate correction. Um, th so, that is amblyopia. Amblyopia means it's a functional loss. Structurally, eye yes, is good. Yes, yes, structurally Externally everything eye is, good. is good. Internally, mm. eye is good. Nerve is good. Everything is up good. Is good, but eye is not. Seen. Not seen. Why does a child develop one eye develop an amblyopia? Because the uh, suppose there is any refractive error, there could be a sensory kind of uh, amblyopia also. Most common is a refractive amblyopia when one eye glass power is more as compared to the Can other you give eye. Can an example of the child you saw? Yes. So one eye, one eye could be plus one. One eye could be plus three. So image from the eye which I, which I has a plus three power would be blurry. So the brain would see blurry from that eye. And if the glass power is uncorrected, that will the brain will try to suppress the image from the amblyopic eye, and that will lead to uh, amblyopia. How does the mm. child know that one eye has got plus three or other? Eyes? How does parents know? Basically, the child will not complain. Yes. How does parents know that? There, is some defect there in the can eye. be subtle signs like the child could be turning the uh, head towards the better eye to see to see from the better eye, or the child maybe when he goes out in sunlight he might be squinting one closing one of the eyes, or uh, while watching TV the parents may notice that I the child is trying to close one eye or tilting the head towards one side. That could be few subtle signs wherein the uh, parents should uh, observe and bring the kid for an eye checkup. You mean to say every parent has to check whether right eye is working well, left eye is working well uh, for a child mm. or is it the responsibility of a class? Nowadays, eye doctors the do visit uh, uh, the schools and examine yes. the children. So ideally, each kid should be examined at six months of age and three years of age. Even if they, they don't have a problem, a routine checkup is should be carried in, uh, on. Uh, like many people go to an optical shop and uh, get No, the that, that they don't do it with a proper uh, a cycloplegic refraction and also I, all eye tests should be done uh, in a eye hospital, uh, preferably by a pediatric ophthalmologist. Uh, is there a way of uh, diagnosing them early, like in a school screening, can you pick up yes, these children? Yes, school screenings are very important. Uh, s uh, many of the refractive errors and also other uh, uh, reasons for any eye problem, any pathology inside the eye can be how picked many, up in eye How many in children in a class, like there is a 60 uh, people in a classroom, hmm. how many people will have? 30% uh, of, of them can have a refractive error. So, uh, we need to, yes. 30 percent mm. in every school has to be wearing glasses and that means if yes. it is not so, mm. that means school has not been uh, gone through the eye examination. How do you treat amblyopia doctor? Once you diagnose one eye is not working well, other eye is working well, mm. uh, how do you treat that child? So first of all we carry out a cycloplegic refraction which is, is the most, uh, yeah, cycloplegics are the drops which uh, relax the muscles of the eyes and we get to know the correct glass power. So, uh, that is a prerequisite in any uh, pediatric uh, patients uh, before prescribing the glasses. Once the correct glass power uh, has been found out, we need to prescribe them, make them wear the glasses and if despite wearing the glasses, the vision is not improving, then we start the treatment for amblyopia. Most common modality which is used is a occlusion therapy which is patching patching of the good eye so that the brain eye coordination with the weaker eye can be stimulated. Can you show us how a patching is So, uh, various kind of patches are available. Most commonly in uh, small kids, we should uh, try to patch the eye rather than patching the uh, patch using the patch over the glass or frosted glasses are also prescribed, but kids usually tend to see through sides. So, these are the patches which can be uh, which can be put on the eye directly and then the kid has to wear the glasses. The intention behind patching is the brain should not get any stimulation from the good eye and the brain eye coordination with the weaker eye can be improved. Very good. 
So how do you put the patch? Like you know, you open it up. Yes, it can be opened up, and uh, that, and the, the it can be directly applied on the eye. It can be uh, directly put on the eye uh, so that how it covers. How many hours do you the, put it? Uh, like so uh, child the child is sleeping. Child is no. When the child is awake, preferably when the child is doing more of near activities, uh, we should uh, put the patches. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, the hours of patching depend on the vision. How how much is the vision? What Not is the age of the? Yeah, doctor is going to advise. Is it advisable to wear it from morning till night or the duration? Previously, previous. Previous studies used to say that uh, they have to wear it all day, but now studies have shown that two hours patching or four hours patching, based on the vision of the kid, uh, can also uh, show similar effects on improvement of vision. So you put a patch mm. on the skin and then yes. wear the glasses. Yes. Both are important. Yes. Hmm. And also you mentioned about hand-eye coordination. That is, child should not be relaxing. Child should actually do work some activities. Drawing, yeah. painting, coloring, sketching, on, in, including the. Uh, know the games on uh, what's uh, the mobile uh, mobile games so, uh, all that which yes. stimulate the uh, the development of the vision has to be done from the eye which is bad the other eye is to be covered covered so that the yes. my uh, left eye is good my right eye is bad so i'm going to cover the left, left eye, eye and use the right eye so that brain uh, stimulation, uh, brain eye open. coordination improves. I'd like to mention Karthik Nitrale has developed an app which is called as Lazy Eye Fighter, which is available on Android. How and do you spell it, Doctor? Lazy Eye Fighter. Lazy Eye L A Z Y E Y E F I G H T E R. Lazy Eye Fighter, uh, which has some games. So now kids are very much, uh, uh, you know, uh, glued to the mobiles and games. So why not develop an app? on the mobile which will also help them improve improve uh, as a therapy for amblyopia so we have developed an app which has different vision criteria and age criteria so that a child of suitable age group and with suitable vision can play games half an hour a day or uh, few few uh, sessions and what can is the improve best the vision to treat amblyopia dr shilpa as early as possible sir as soon as we diagnose uh, we should start with the therapy and if it is stubborn like the child has come 3 months 6 months Many times the problem mm. is uh, the parents don't uh, uh, say child Patch. is not cooperating, cooperating, child is not patching, child is crying. So yes. they go mild or they don't do every day. We should reinforce about patching but then if we know that uh, the kid is not able to do it, there are other modalities which can be tried like atropinization which is penalization of the good eye. Um, the other uh, therapies which have been tried is with levodopa. Um, then there are computer uh, orthoptics. We have a very uh, nice setup in Karthik Nitrale of uh, VTS4. It's a beautiful um, computer based programs which has many anti separation exercises and uh, uh, games uh, which can be played by the kids of various age even adults and uh, we can try and improve their vision can can this uh, program can be taken home and can the child be if imagine the patient is child is staying far away yes it can uh, be done so you can yeah, buy the a software CD, yeah software is available and that is monitored by the VTS company itself which is in America and you can demonstrate and you can diagnose and you can you can reuse that yes. for a particular period of time and mm -hmm. the exercises can be given for a child and that is only for stubborn children yes. where the vision is not improving so, so uh, we have learned much about amblyopia which is called also called lazy eye amblyopia is another way is called lazy eye which usually comes uh, in a child either the child is squinting that's called strabismus amblyopia or when the power in one eye is higher than the other eye, an isometropic amblyopia. There are many kinds of amblyopia, but your duty as a parent is to bring the child. Every child has to be seen by a doctor because imagine, the as I said, the left eye is very good, right eye is dull. The parents will never know. Child is performing well and there is no squint. And uh, only when we examine the eye, either in the hospital or in the school screening program, we will detect that right eye is not working at all. So uh, it's compulsory that and once diagnosed, it's easy to treat when the child is still small and as you grow older and older, nowadays technologies are available, earlier days we used to say 9 years is the cutoff, after that amblyopia cannot be improved. But today, even for a person who is 35 year old, if the eye is healthy otherwise, if the, if the eye has got amblyopic, it can be corrected by the modern computer based modalities. Thanks Dr. Shilpa Thank for you so enlightening us. Thank you.